that's the one thing about this is that the the team that's you know gets fouled and then complains about it you know like you're putting your team at a disadvantage so like why do that you know you just gotta play through this stuff man it's just how it is Gerald you talked about Devin off the top of this segment um, and we know that you know he struggled a little bit on Saturday dealing with the physicality that's been a huge topic of conversation and he also spoke about that at practice today here's what he had to say yeah I mean that's a tough balance where I'm I'm trying to you know find too you know where guys are being physical with me and the moment I'm physical with them I'm in foul trouble and on the bench um I looked back at my second and third one the pass underneath that Mike tried to make that I stole cleanly and then the trap on Carl which was initially called on Brad and then changed to me um but it's a, it's a physical game, so you, it's trying to find what, what they're going to call and what they're not when, when guys are being physical with you and you try to return that. So I will say, and this is not a cop-out or an excuse by any means because I think it affected both the Suns and the Timberwolves, is that there were points in time in this game, especially in the first half, where you weren't exactly entirely sure how – the game was going to be officiated. Like they allowed them to be really physical in the first quarter. And then the second quarter, they tightened the reins a little bit. Both teams, I think, wound up in the bonus. So it was a little bit of an adjustment trying to figure out exactly what the officials were going to let slide in this game. But I do think that you can't let that get to you. you because, bo again, both sides had issues and had fouls. The Timberwolves had, had more fouls at the end of the game than the Suns did. So it's a balance, but I get it. You, you just got to play strong. You gotta play strong. You gotta play aggressive, um, and let the the whistles go. However, they're gonna go. Like that's the one thing about this is that the the team that's, you know, gets fouled and then complains about it. You know, like the, you're putting your team at a disadvantage. So, like, why do that? You know, you just gotta play through this stuff, man. It's just how it is. Yeah, they they'll figure it out, man. These guys have been playing way more basketball. They they don't forgot more basketball than we'll ever know. They'll figure it out. They're smart. They, it's, it's a bad game one. They'll free book up. He'll he'll get his shots. Um, he's too good of a player. Kevin's too good of a player. Brad's not going to get stuck. Uh, we, that's a great point, and, and I saw that on tape, G. I wanted to bring that up. The Anthony Edwards defense was pretty damn good. Um, but, again, like this is what you see it now. Now you see it. Now you're not surprised. Now you got a couple games of game, game plan for it with a couple days. <laughs> And they'll make their adjustments because they, they always do. Um, does it mean you're going to win a series? No, but I'm confident this is, every game is going to have a life of its own. And I'm, I'm looking forward to watching game two, the movie, unfold because it's going to be entirely different than game one. Hopefully it's as good as Gran Turismo. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> look, I to me, though, the, the foul stuff, I felt like the Suns didn't come in ready mentally for how physical the playoffs are. They just, they're called more physical, right? You're going to get hit. When you go in, in in the lane, you're going to get a push around. That's going to happen in the playoffs. It's just inevitable. It, it, we've seen it for as long as we've watched NBA playoff basketball. That just tends to happen. And I feel like they didn't come in with the right mindset on that. But now, after one game, you hope, okay, they, they reset their expectations on that. They're prepared for game two, and they – they don't have the complaints like you're talking about, Saul. Uh, and they, they understand that that's just part of this right now. Yeah. I, I, All think, right. I think this is – oh, am I Go not ahead, allowed to get my yeah, – yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Go ahead, G. I think, uh, I think it's kind of a game within the game in terms of like this is – I'm fascinated to see how the whistle goes in game two because Book has been pretty vocal the last two times we've heard from him about, yeah, Jaden McDaniels is playing real physical – and then I go back down the other end and I get called for a touch foul on Mike Conley or um, I get called for, you know, that foul that I was double teaming Carl and it was actually on Brad. Like, I, I think I don't think they came into it with the wrong mindset in terms of physicality. I think they were confused because of how physical the game was. And at various points when they tried to return that physicality, they got whistled for calls that didn't feel like the same standard on the other end. Like there was that one drive where Book drove to the lane, Jaden McDaniels like blocked him or stripped him or whatever. And Book was, you know, throwing his hands up looking for a call. And then the very next play is when he got called for the whistle on Conley. I thought the McDaniels strip was clean. I thought it was a physical but tough play. But you go back down the other end, do the same thing, and you get whistled for it. It is a little confusing and tough to navigate. They have to be better about doing that in game two. 
Um, but I understand why they're trying to work out that process and figure out, okay, this team already has the size advantage against us. Like if we can't be physical back, how are we supposed to do this? Um, but again, that was something that I think Conley dealt with as well. It was on both sides, so there's no excuse for it. But I am fascinated after kind of the public lobbying that Book's been doing, if we see a little bit more uh, of a favorable whistle in terms of McDaniels guarding him in game two. I will, I will say this, you know, the Timberwolves started the game off like that, right? They started off physical from the jump. They did not, they didn't like kind of find their way through it and then start to get physical as the game went on. And I'm not saying the Suns were like soft at the beginning, but I don't think that they, they set the same precedent in terms of physicality to start the game off with. And so when that happens and the, and refs will tell you this, like, like you just as a referee, you just start to get accustomed to the way that they're playing and you just keep going. And, and, and it's not fair. I'm not saying it is fair, but like physical teams, when you come in knowing a team is physical, you inherently sometimes as a referee are going to have a bias in terms of like, well, they're going to they're just a physical team. A well, that's, that's not fair at all. Like if, if the Suns come out tomorrow and they're just as physical to start the game, it should be neutral. It should be both ways. But um, that's kind of my read on that when 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 Devin's saying what he's saying. Well, I don't think the complaining helps though either because if you're complaining on one end, like I think they're going to be shorter with their whistle on the other because they're already frustrated with you. So if they see even the littlest thing, even if they've called it different on the other end, if you're sitting there complaining about it, I think they they tend to they're human. They tend to react to that. At this, times. this shit all balances out over a series. I really do believe that and. I, I look at, I go back to the Suns Pelican series where Herb Jones was in that Jaden McDaniels role, hounding everybody, being that defensive lockdown guy, getting physical. He got away with it. And then there were games where he get three quick fouls in the first quarter. He's on the bench. There's going to be, I'm telling you right now, I, I, I wish I could put a bet on this. Jaden McDaniels will get two fouls in the first quarter real quick in this next game. You look at the film, he was fucking ultra physical. And I, I just can't imagine that the league or the refs are going to allow that type of physicality over a seven-game series. It's all going to come back and balance out. So they got away with it in game one. They were more physical. They got away with some calls. And again, I keep saying this, Minnesota's really good from ahead. When they're ahead, they're a lot more comfortable being ultra-aggressive. But when they're, if you get on them early and they're down, that physicality changes. I, I went back and looked at the three games prior and this one. And the difference was they were ahead and they were they were able to play more physical with the knowledge of, hey, we're up seven, we're up eight, let's try this. Um, but when they're down, it's a whole different basketball team. So get out early, you know, shoot some threes, get the ball moving. I, I think this is going to bounce.